everybody, it's me, Becky, Youth Services Librarian here at the Longview Public Library, and today we're going to be showing you our October Kids Craft. This is going to be the start of a monthly craft series where we will show you um, all the supplies and directions for making a craft. You can pick up the supplies in our library drive through all month during October. Just come through any time during our drive through hours and ask library staff for a kids craft bag and we'll get it for you. Now Jacob will be telling you what you'll get in your craft bag. Thanks Becky. Hi, I'm Jacob. Let's cover what's going to be inside your craft packets. So here's what you'll get. You'll get these four pipe cleaners that will be used to make the pumpkin, this brown one that will be the stem, this green one which will be the vine, and then this little baggie of pony beads that you will use to also make the pumpkin. So the first step to making your pumpkin is to take the four pipe cleaners that you're using for the body of your pumpkin and I just line them up and I'll fold them in half together. But if it's easier for you, you could fold them separately and make a little crease. You don't have to fold it too much just so that you have a general idea of where the half mark is for each one. And then we're going to connect them all in the center um, so I'm going to thread this through here and then kind of just give it a little twist to make sure it stays in place. But the idea is that they're all connected in the center and that you have these lines extending out like a spider, but it's going to be a pumpkin instead. Okay, so now that you have your spider ready, let's start threading some beads onto its legs. Oh wait, it's a pumpkin. like so. So now I've beaded all of this up to about an inch away from the ends. Gotta leave a little bit of room so you can tie it off. So now let's go back to Becky to see what the next step is. Okay, so I've beaded all mine up. I do have some beads left over, and that's okay. Um, now I'm going to kind of pull everything into the middle and twist these together. Um, they will all be twisted together in the end, so it doesn't matter um, which order you go in, but I think that it's a good idea to start with um, the ones that are shortest to make sure that you have room to them. So now you might be thinking, well, that's a silly stem. And you're right, that would be a silly stem. But that's why we have this other brown pipe cleaner, which we're going to then wrap around here where these are all twisted together to make a more nice looking pumpkin stem. And then you can kind of like plump Plump your pumpkin up a little bit. That is that. And then I'm going to take my green one and make a cool vine. So I'm just going to twist it around one time and then um, kind of make a little curlies with my fingers. And that's it. Jacob, what does yours look like? Here's my finished product, this pumpkin. It is my new favorite thing in the world. So with that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We've got another one of these coming in November, so if you want to check that out, get ready for that. And if there's anything you want to share about your pumpkins, go ahead and send those to either our Facebook, our Instagram, or go ahead and email us. Show us your products.